Hey, happy. Is it true that this is your first time celebrating Halloween? There are two aspects to it. The one for kids, you dress up in a costume of anything you want, then go up to random people's houses after dark and yell, trick or treat, and they give you candy. I went trick or treating until I was 21. I stopped after that because I think I just got too old. <laughs> As for adults on Halloween, either they give out candy to the trick-or-treaters or they sit around the campfire and tell scary stories. So today, I am going to be telling you a scary story. Some people believe that the purpose behind Facebook is to act as a government spy. And maybe they were right. Submitted for the approval of the Haunted Halloween Society, I call this story The Tale of the Creepy Stalker. So, for those of you who know me, I am still under the impression that I'm being stalked by government soldiers. And today I'm going to prove that Facebook, YouTube, and Google are all working together to spy on us. So basically, this is part two for point number seven in my first video. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out here. So for those of you who do know me, I can't have a Facebook account for my channel and I'll tell you why. I am basically at the point in life where I don't even have to type anything or search anything and the cops already show up without me having to do anything. Like this one time, I just loaded up Facebook and the people you may know section was displaying four cops in a row. Seriously? What the hell is this? Now, they just keep escalating. Look, I opened up my homepage and Facebook randomly brings up a friend suggestion. It's the red-headed cop. Now, I am not sure if it's suggesting him as a friend because he is the one stalking me or if they're going to cycle through everyone on the list until I add one of them. Either way, I am just going to ignore it for now. Now, this happened after I watched one of those police lip sync videos and I searched one of the names displayed on the end credits. I didn't know who I was looking for, but I guess I clicked on the right profile because there is a blue line memorial picture here. Now look at the bottom right corner. It's Jeremy Shaw again. So it is bringing up a cop on another cop's page. Nice. This was also after I watched a lip sync video. Notice the humanizing the badge banner at the bottom right corner. So they are bringing this up while I'm browsing a cop's page. Oh look, I opened up my home page again and it brings up one of those other names from the list earlier. They must be on to something. I have no idea what they are trying to accomplish here. 
I have no idea who this guy is and have only been to his profile once. I had no idea there were other cops aside from the ones that are listed on the sidebar under team members. Then I found out there are at least four or five other cops that are not listed on the sidebar. Now, back to the redhead's profile. I was looking at one of his posts and wanted to see this picture up close. Oh look, the humanizing the badge banner again. Coincidence? So this picture itself is not cop related specifically, but I was trolling the Vancouver police page and look, the humanizing the badge banner is back. At this point, I am convinced it's a sign and maybe I need to ask Mike to launch humanizing the badge project Canada and I could be the CEO. It looks like humanizing the badge is trying to collab with me in some way. Now, I saved the best part for last. I was told that the blondie, Riley, went back out on patrol and they needed a replacement. One evening, this random name came up on my recommended section and I had no idea who he is. This name is new to me, but I had a feeling he is the new guy replacing Riley. Then, a few days later, they confirmed it. Now, the real question here is, why did Facebook bring up his name in my recommended section a few days before he was even officially announced as the newest team member? What is going on here, you guys? Is Facebook trolling me because I am the owner of Police Officer Fan Club, so they did this on purpose because they are trying to get a rise out of me? Or does all of this just prove that Facebook is in fact a creepy level 50 stalker? I mean, what is really going on here? Am I stalking the cops? Are the cops stalking me? Or am I stalking the cops while the cops are stalking me and Facebook is stalking all of us? I need an escape from reality. I don't know who the stalker is here, but with any luck, hopefully these guys won't block me after this video. Not that I expect them to be watching my videos, but if they are, please, please, please don't block me. It may seem like I'm stalking you, but I'm not actually stalking you. As you can see, this evidence was gathered throughout the span of a few months, so I am not stalking you honest. But Facebook might be a stalker, so if you do feel like blocking, then block Facebook. So I am just going to log into my American account and see if there is anything creepy there. Oh my god! Does anyone else notice creepy things going on with your recommended section? Or is it just me? I don't know if this convinced you to delete your account or not, but if you think about it, Facebook is probably a government spy. Now, YouTube decided to join the party. Look what happened after I clicked on one police lip sync video. 7 out of 10 of the videos on my recommended section are other police lip sync videos. Seriously? Is it because they want me to watch all of them, or do they come up based on availability? So, the more there are out there, the more they have a possibility of coming up on my homepage. But 7 out of 10 is more than half, so I think that's taking it a bit far. I mean, it was just one video. Is it obvious that YouTube is also stalking me and did this on purpose to troll me just because I am the owner of Police Officer Fan Club? <laughs> Hey, happy. Which ones do you want? Just pick the two that you want and I'll have the other two.
Remember, hubby, the doctor said you have to keep drinking the blue liquid or the color will fade from your eyes. The truth is, you don't normally look like this. You're the result of human cloning gone wrong. Abby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Please don't be mad at me. Hey, Hubby. Are you still mad at me? I got some cheesecake from the Cheesecake Cafe to show there are no hard feelings. See, look, I got blueberry streusel and caramel macchiato, both cup related flavors. It's all for you. Have as much as you want and I'll eat the rest. Just please don't be mad at me anymore. I'm sorry, Happy. I love you. Please don't be mad at me anymore. Will you forgive me?